Hello there, welcome to another episode of the True Gamer Top 10, and today we're going to look at the top 10 worst original Xbox games in the gaming history. What were the top 10 most pathetic, most awful original Xbox titles? Let's begin number 1. Drake of the 99 Dragons came out in 2003. On paper, Drake of the 99 Dragons was supposed to be amazing, allowing you to play as an undead assassin shooting his enemies Matrix-style to avenge his clan. Unfortunately, with horrible controls, the useless dual gun system, and impractical targeting, we get a poorly executed third-person shooter. The cel-shaded graphics look cheap, the animations are low quality, and the audio voice acting is abysmal. Number 2, Psychonauts, came out in 2005, created by an overrated hack named Tim Schafer. Psychonauts was a misguided platformer about some lame spy named Raz who has psychic powers. That may sound cool, but the gameplay is boring, the level designs are disorienting, and the storyline is convoluted. The game barely sold any copies, and rightfully became forgotten over time. Psycho what? <laughs> exactly. Number 3. Burnout 3 Takedown came out in 2004. The Xbox has plenty of racing and driving games, but Burnout 3 Takedown is particularly pathetic. Subpar gameplay, very linear tracks, and pointless crash segments drag down this criterion created caca. Worst of all, the advertised online multiplayer barely worked and have been out of service for five years. Yeah, that's half a decade. Number 4. Star Wars Battlefront came out in 2004. Video game adaptations of the Star Wars franchise have always been disappointing, and Battlefront follows that tradition. You can only control a few characters, the AI pose no challenges, the modes feel limited, and the gameplay gets really old after 20 minutes. The worst part of Battlefront is the multiplayer, which only allow you to play around 30 people instead of the 64 players you can get over the PC version. Ugh. Number 5. Jade Empire came out in 2005. One of the easiest games to defeat, Jade Empire is your typical Bioware action RPG schlock that puts emphasis on epic settings over the interesting gameplay. Jade Empire is way too short, far too simplistic, and feature a combat system so basic that you'll feel like a grizzly bear chewing on a baby deer while playing this game. Its dialogue is also overdone and pointless for such a brief and irrelevant storyline. Number 6. Dead or Alive 3 came out in 2001. A launch title for the original Xbox, this fighting game is a relic of the old 90s 3D one-on-one -on -one combat genre. There's really nothing innovative in terms of gameplay, and the characters look like dolled up mannequins. It's very misogynistic in presentation, just downright embarrassing. DOA 3's plot feels so unimportant, and the gameplay is way too basic compared to other 3D fighting games like Tekken, and even something like Smash Brothers. Number 7. Fable came out in 2004. An action RPG can work if it lives up to the hype and hits all of its promised features correctly, which is exactly the opposite of Fable. Designer Peter Molyneux brings the most disappointing RPG experience not named Final Fantasy. From its confusing storyline, the dumbed-down combat system, unimaginative level designs, and the lack of mature rated content, Fable is not friendly enough for little kids and not violent or sexy enough for older gamers. Number 8. Half-Life 2 came out in 2004. Released one year earlier on the PC, the Xbox got its port of Half-Life 2 in the late 2005. The loading times are painful, the frame rate is very choppy, the controls don't have the precision of the PC, and the overall setting of the game looks like garbage. 
Sure, the graphics are fairly realistic, but when you're slumming through the sewers and the graveyards most of the time, it still looks like a piece of realistic crap. Number 9 Halo came out in 2001. One of the most overhyped games in history, the launch title Halo for the original Xbox is full of problems. The stage designs all look alike and look very repetitive, the gameplay is mindless action, and the storyline is so convoluted that even die-hard sci-fi nerds will feel alienated. Halo Combat Evolved is so crappy, it doesn't even have online multiplayer on the Xbox system. How pathetic. Number 10. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic came out in 2003. When it comes to overblown video games, we tend to get Bioware titles as a consistent culprit. However, this pile of Jedi junk is too boring way too uninteresting to even consider mediocre by any standards. The graphics are outdated, the presentation is sluggish, and the RPG elements simply rip off superior games like Dragon Age and Mass Effect. Star Wars has been a victim of bad video game adaptations for years and years, so thankfully, KOTOR and the rest of the extended universe garbage is officially non canon. <laughs> Take that, you Star Wars piece of turd. Alright, so that's it for the top 10 worst original Xbox games of all time. This is another episode of the True Gamer Top 10. Take it from a true gamer like me. This is the top 10 worst of the Xbox original uh, system. Now, this what's Microsoft when they created the Xbox, you know it was going to flop, you know it was going to stink, it was going to have bad games, and really it had nothing. It had nothing noteworthy, all its games pretty much stunk, but these are the top 10 most terrible and atrocious ones. If you want the superior system from the 6th generation, go get the PS2 instead of the original Xbox. The PS2, way way better, way more games, way more titles, than the stinking pathetic crap box from Microsoft. The True Gamer Top 10 is created, performed, and produced by the Review Space channel. Please check them out on youtube.com slash the Review Space. Thank you. Until next time.